Since Python version 3.6, f-strings have become the most popular way to format strings. Not only are they more readable, more concise, and less prone to error than other previous ways of formatting, such as using the percent sign, f-strings are also much faster. f-string stands for formatted string literal, and it works by creating a placeholder expression that's evaluated as the program executes. The typical format is that you start with f single quote, and then you add your string with curly braces surrounding the variable within that string, wherever you need a variable to be placed. Like this example where it says print f string hello world, comma, my name is curly braces name. We'll print on hello world, my name is James, if that was what your name variable was set to. And you can also provide some format specifications or presentation types when you're using f-strings to customize the format of the string. For example, if you had a price that was 12.423343, I mean, that doesn't look like a price, it doesn't look like currency to me. What you could do is use f-strings to say that that price is only two decimal places by adding the colon dot 2f after it. The f stands for a fixed point notation. Let's try out some examples in Python. Let's create a variable called name. Set that to James, and let's use f strings to print it out. Print f string hello world. My name is. Let me stick the name variable within the quotes and within curly braces, and that should print out hello world. My name is James. Create another variable called price. And set that to twelve point three, whatever. And let's print that out. Print the total price is dollar sign price. And, and it, you know that doesn't look like currency to me. You need two decimal places after it. So all you do is after the word price, you type colon dot two f, and that should fix it. There we go. Looks a lot better. You can have multiple variables printing out within your string. You could say age is 42. And print out age within that same F string. Just like that. So you don't have to worry about commas or plus signs. You just simply wrap everything with quotation marks and just plug in your variables where you need them using these curly braces. It makes it pretty easy to use and you can see that it prints out the entire string just like that. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for f-strings and in future videos I'm going to use f-strings a lot. So you'll see some more examples then.